isang kababayan today catching up with Serena Dayrimple, isang child star sa Pilipinas na ngayon ay nandito na sa Hollywood. Okay, so Serena, the decision to go to London, I know you love to travel, but why London? Um, well, originally, um, I applied for San Francisco, pero yung eldest sister ko, Sarah, um, already got accepted there for the same course. Mm -hmm. And ayaw ko siya maging classmate or maging schoolmate. <laughs> okay. So I tried to go as far as possible. Uh -huh. And I mean, I've never been to London. I've been to Europe. But I mean, London, de ba? Ibang ibang usapan yon. So I chose London for something different. Okay. So how long were you in London, and what did you pursue at what school? Um, I studied at Hulk International Business School for mm -hmm. international business, masters in international business, and um, I was there for one year. Wonderful. Yeah. How mm -hmm. was that one year? Ah, it was fun. It, <laughs> <laughs> I made a lot of friends. I made like, the experience of studying there is awesome. Um, a different culture, different everything. It's it well, yeah, but it was really nice. Marami really ka bang nakilala mga Pilipino na nandon sa London? Yeah, London din? marami. Um, I have about seven classmates na Filipino, mm -hmm. and so we had our own Filipino group, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we'd always go to um, Filipino restaurants there. Um, then I met um, so marami ako mga friends sa uh, um, America dito sa states uh -oh. na may mga friends sa London na uh -oh. Filipino, and so I met up with them. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So you've always been surrounded around Filipino Americans <laughs> or Filipinos rather that you yeah. can relate with because of your culture, diba? Yeah. The decision to move to Los Angeles, bakit? Um, well, I was originally gusto kong lumipat sa San Francisco because my sister lives there. And so I tried applying for jobs in San Francisco, um, didn't have any luck. And then I got the best job ever in Paramount Pictures. So. Um, that's actually the main reason why I moved back to Los Angeles. Well, it's amazing how you've sort of like gone full circle, diba? Nagsimula ka sa show business, <laughs> diba? Pero, and you pursued the academic route, and yet here you are in the biggest entertainment capital of the world. <laughs> so it's yeah. amazing how life works like yeah. that, right? And now I'm living, but I think they nila um, yung both things that you want, like combined. And, Yes, it's, it's that. I mean, I nagagamit ko yung napag-aralan ko at the same time for the industry that I grew up in, which is show business. Which is show business, and it's fun. Yeah. Well, not a lot of people in show business can say that they have a master. So congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. It's very admirable to pursue academics when you have everything that's already laid in front of you, di ba? Yeah. Magawa ka na ng pelikula, magami <laughs> ka ng mga television shows, and yet the decision to choose. Uh, academics must be a difficult decision but like you said stability right yeah. so you're still very very young you're yeah. only 24 um, and you're here in Los Angeles what do you foresee yourself pursuing as you get older hmm that's a tough question um, I'm gonna be pursuing um, progress a job because my my position has a lot of room for growth Mm -hmm. And so, well, what, are, what are you doing? Um, I'm a Paramount? sourcing analyst right now for okay. um, Paramount Pictures. Uh, so, it, Paramount Pictures has their own department for sourcing. Mm -hmm. And so, din ako. Wow, yeah. great. And it has a lot of room for growth. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung nakita kung future ko ngayon is to push that. Okay. Nami miss mo bang mag acting? Di ko alam me. Eh. Honestly, di ko alam. Nami miss ko yung. Friends ko, na miss ko yung lifestyle mm -hmm. na... Kasi parang pamilya kayong lahat, mm -hmm, di ba? At saka yung lifestyle, at saka syempre yung mga libreng nakukuha mo <laughs> that comes with that. Freebies, <laughs> oh, yung mga course, freebies, yes. mga ex deals ayan. Oh, oh. Nakakamiss yun, syempre. Mm -hmm. Pero I'm happy right now. As they say, di ba, here in America, akala ng mga tao, madali ang buhay. But here, we do everything for ourselves, yeah, right? Yeah, I clean my own apartment. Ako nagwagawa ng laundry ko. Wala, sa, yun yung isa sa mga pinaka na ko sa Philippines, yung pwede ka lang tumawag, mag-pick up ng laundry mo. Uh Oo. -oh. Babalik Pala sa'yo, ba all folded na. Uh Oo. -oh. Hindi, dito, <laughs> hindi. Coin laundry sa amin. Uh Oo, -oh. no, but you know, it's therapeutic. I do my own laundry and this is the part of my day where I can be like, I can think. It's therapeutic for me, di ba? <laughs> Doon ko na lang sinasabi sa isip ko na, hindi, okay lang to. Okay lang to. Kaya ko to, di ba? But I, it is a challenge. Yeah, it is a challenge. Um, 
having to clean up for your own. Tapos, um, mm -hmm. especially living in an apartment na wala kang kasama, wala kang maid, wala uh -oh. kang... Ikaw rin bang nagluluto? Gusto ko masabihin, oo. Oh -oh. <laughs> Uh, you know, Pero, Trader Joe's is my best friend. <laughs> yes. Um, at saka ako naman Whole Foods. Yung kasi naman palagi silang make ano na, ready-made food na doon. Uh -oh. So, doon lang ako kumukuha ng food and dinadala ko na lang sa bahay. Okay, what about Filipino food? Do you miss eating Filipino yes. food? Yes. Um, I have a lot of friends dito na Filipino na pag namimiss ko yung Filipino food, natawagan ko sila na requesting na kung pwede nalang akong lutuan. Oh, yun, sarap naman <laughs> diba? nun. Tatawag, Tatawag lang, diba? Ako. Pwede akong kumahain ng dinner dyan. Gusto ko ito dinner ko. Ay, ang sarap. Nakakausap mo pa rin ba yung mga kaibigan na nakatrabaho mo sa Pilipinas? Do you get to speak with them often? Um, not everyone, pero yung mga yung mga um, yung mga friends ko na lumaki ako with them. Yeah. Nakakausap ko pa rin sila constantly um, Facebook, Instagram, right. Twitter, mga yeah, yeah, so it's it's so much easier to keep in touch with all our friends in the Philippines now because of social media. Yes, sobra, sobrang mas, mas convenient. Uh -oh. Well, I have to say, that's how I found Serena, was through social media. Yeah, so through marami, LinkedIn. Yeah, <laughs> so maraming salamat for being on the show. When we return, kasama pa rin natin si Serena. Don't go away.